it took all day to get up here. We ain't even beating her up. It took forever to get up here. We don't know what happened. Blah, blah, blah. It's a slave mentality, man. He always say that. Yeah, it's a slave mentality. So his kid probably bought it. I'm gonna show you this too. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. They slaves. Slave mentality. That's all we got to find. I'm just doing this for my podcast. That's all. I'm not. You know. Hi, do you want to find the black owned businesses okay. that you can now find in the Okay. I'm with um I'm with the African American Internet Radio Station, Larry Gardner, Voice Radio.com. I'm sorry, I don't have my stuff with me. It just came from a meeting of the black journalists of Greater Cleveland. Anything you want to say? No, we're just up here. Um I never think it's okay for a man to be a woman. No matter what happened between other women in here, she didn't put her hands on the man. So it's no reason why she should have been manhandled like that. We need to stop giving our money to people that are disrespecting us. They don't come to our communities and put money in our stores or in our communities. We need to start standing up against this and supporting our own. So I made a list of black-owned nail shops, got that right black-owned nail techs, so is. people can go and visit those places. We got to support our own. I'm going to put this on the um, yeah, yeah, real kings and queens out here standing for what's right, man. It's about that time for us to come together, we start to pulling together. around these dollars and start shopping with our own. It's about that time to start exiting out everybody who don't want to do big. We want to exit out everybody who in our community, soaking up our dollars, soaking up uh, our, off of our oppression. We want to, uh, the Chinese, the, the, the Arabs, they come from different countries and they come to our uh, communities mm-hmm. and they soak up our dollars. Okay. They've been doing this for, for the longest. They all in on it. It's a big ass secret and we out of the motherfucking uh picture. Right. So it's about that time for us to come together. You feel me? Unify, get that get that knowledge, get that self love going and rotate these dollars, man. All right, thank you. So I did that. What's going on, brother BJ? It's not just one, but I'm just saying, in particular, I asked a girl to do something on my nails. How you doing? I asked her to do something on my nails. She told me she didn't feel like doing it. If I'm paying you my money, and this is your job, and that's the thing. uh, Yeah, go somewhere else. But uh, like I heard time and time again, he's very disrespectful. He has a smart mouth, and people keep going back to him. We will, we will keep going back. We will let other people disrespect us to the fullest and still patronize them. But when it's a black person, if they do something one time we don't like, we never go back. We gotta stop doing that. And that's what I'm saying. I never in my 12 years seen him disrespect nobody in front of me. I heard it a lot. That's that's fine. I'm just, that's what other people's, uh... We're on the video, <laughs> on the video. I never did. <laughs> on the video, was even bigger than... Hey, don't, don't stand in front of the door. Yeah, on the yeah, video, okay. was even oh, more egregious than him assaulting his sister was the multiple racial slurs they were hurling because you could hear him calling her a nigga on the what's name. So I don't care what a person say they ain't see. This is what's in them. It's there. You know what I'm saying? And at that it's particular time, it right. came out. It came out when they get mad. They've been feeling that way for all of those 12 years. I am not condoning what he did. None whatsoever. Not yeah. condoning it at all. Yeah. And this is the third video I've seen of Asian people putting yeah. their hands on They follow sisters around, around the stores. Going to stores. And both times they claimed they were stealing. When the police come, right. came, they weren't stealing. So they put their hands on us because they know they can because no one is going to protect us. No one is going to defend us. The they're, going to, they're going black to woman. take up for them. Woman. And that's what she said. All I want to do is my dinner because I'm going out of town. And we, and we, we so she said, I ain't about to get into it. We so quick to identify. Yeah, that's a surprise. All the people who are talking about it. You got a million, right, you got a million of them black <laughs> nail techs in Cleveland. And you're still coming here. That's crazy. Out of all the nail techs. With the last mile, it's two of them. It's, it's you sad. might be the best victim. And, and that's why I made a list of the ones that I saw that closer to here and everywhere so we can just start going to other places. We don't have to give them. 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 We don